Well, happy, happy, happy Valentine's Day to everyone from my heart to yours. I, I really feel every day should be Valentine's Day and every day should be Easter. I mean, if we celebrate love and we celebrate resurrection, which is our recognition of love, we have to forgive or resurrect from pain and fear and sorrow and sadness to love. But it should not be measured out on some people and held back and withheld from others. It must be like the flower gives the fragrance to the wind. It doesn't tell the wind, go over to that cat over there and that dog and, oh, I like that plant over there, send some fragrance to that plant or that tree. The fragrant, fragrance is offered up as a gift and then the wind will take it wherever the wind takes it. And that's the way it is with the Holy Spirit. There's, there's no sense of personalizing this love because that would be an attempt to limit love. There's no sense to contain it. Uh, I got a Valentine's today and it was beautiful. It was, it was roomy and it was saying, when, when you love, love foolishly. Love foolishly, meaning whatever the ego is going to say of it, let it call you a fool. Many times in this world if somebody is so loving with everyone and everything that people point to them and go, they're they're not all there as if they're like mentally retarded or they're whatever they've been they're not normal like pay no attention to all that loving it can't be real because in a world that was made by the ego in a world of perception that was made as a projection of of limit which is what the ego is it's fear it's limit then love stands out like this rose, it's, it's, this rose is a beautiful flower, it really can stand out, but, but it doesn't have any limit. It would have to be multiplied and shared and extended over and over and over. So even though Valentine's Day is named after Saint Valentine, and we have the word Valentine in the day, let's go back to the first part of that. Saint. What is a saint? But one who is devoted to God. What is a saint but one who loves everyone, regardless of behaviors, regardless of actions? What is a saint but that which sees the innocence, the purity that is beyond the body, that is not limited by perception in any way? A lot of talk is given in A Course in Miracles about the happy dream and the real world, true perception. But remember, that's just like, that's the window dressing. Really, what he's asking us to do is to see with Christ vision. And that's beyond the body. That's, that's beyond the five senses. That's beyond every device or apparatus or, or image that we seem to see in this world and basically that's what Jesus is telling in, in the Course. He's saying, until you see with Christ's vision, you ain't seen nothing yet. You, you haven't seen anything at all. It doesn't matter how holy you believe your perception is and it's beautiful when it starts to be purified and cleansed, but it's, you're not going to find an endpoint in perception. And so, if that's the case, then it's like, why would you spend a second of a day feeling like you can be content with perception? There has to be something like a calling in your heart, an ache in your heart, a sense of soul sickness, a sense of homesickness, a sense of, like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, you know, she's the theme of the whole movie is, I want to go home. That's the underlying theme. That's the, that's the whole point of going, following the yellow brick road, facing those flying monkeys, facing that wicked witch of the west with that green snarly nose and those wicked looking eyes. You have to face all that just to go past it, just to see that nothing can stop me if I really desire 
to go home. Again, Rumi, love foolishly. Love with such an open heart that you're willing to be called foolish. That's the direction. Because uh, to be a fool in this world is, is really not a bad thing. <laughs> it's to be serious in this world and think that there's something holding you back that's real. There's something holding you down that's real. There's something that's tethering you to earth and its gravity that's real. Th that is, that's the thing that needs to be raised up and lifted up. Because we are not held back by anything or anyone. <laughs>